Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in the previous video, we have seen how to create a new project using the wheat. So create hyphen view build tool method. We have used it. Now we can not only like this, we can also use the CDN process to, to create a new project. So in this video, we will try to see how we can use the Vue.js using the CDN. So just this is one video I am trying to show you. So we can also create the project using the CDN like that. I am trying to show you. So fine. So we can use Vue directly from CDN via script tag. So here what I am trying to do is here I will try to create a new project. So new new folder so mkdir u iphone cdn. Let's go to the view iphone cdn. So I am opening this one in the oh, will it open? Yeah. So I am it is not open. So fine. Let's close this one. So here I will be opening code space dot. Yeah. So this time it will try to open here the project, the folder. And in this one, what I will try to do is so here I will try to create a project new file and here index.html. Okay. okay. What is happening? Let's try to create. So this one let's rename to index.html. And this is our index.html file. And in this index.html file, so I am writing the HTML part. Okay, let's try to see it. HTML part. By the time, let's try to go to the settings. And this time in the user itself, I will try to change it here. 24 and also to the zoom not something like this i will try to keep it yeah zoom level one is there right so yeah here html is it working yeah so now here this is the html and here i can have div so hello world so this is the basic div i am using and here we can also use a script tag so here if i want to paste it so this is a script tag which i am using it from the unpackage or otherwise you can also take the a uh, package from js deliver or cd and js like that you can also take it. it's not a problem so now fine so now we have used it let's go and write the script code so here i am using i am creating a new file again app.js and in this app.js we'll try to write the code so here in this app.js what i will try to do is so in order to create the uh, ta project so what i need to do is so here we need to create the instance so previously we used to have new view in Vue.js 2. So here we need to use create app. And in this create app, I can have data. So here I can use the message. Here I can use hello world. Instead of using there, I am using through the code. So hello world. And here now I can use interpolation. So message. So don't worry. So if you don't know these all the things, you'll try to discuss. But I am trying to show you how we can do it, these all things. Uh, now here if you want you can use constant view or something like this or app we use it as app and at the bottom so we can have app dot mount of the hash app so this one is the id so here if you try to give id is equal to app so whatever the things you are trying to use it in between this one so all the things comes under the vue.js instance here so now let's try to go here and we will execute this index.html so in order to use this one we need to use the include the app.js so here i will be using this app include this app.js script source is equal to oh sorry app.js otherwise we'll try to use it like this so script i am closing the script also and let's open this one in the live server so we need to use the uh, so i'm using the live server so let it open and here i am closing this one all maybe it will be running maybe it is running i think so let it run so we didn't close this one so let's close this one don't save yeah. and here is it running it will take some time i think maybe my system is a little bit slow yeah so the server is running right now so now if you try to see here message we got an issue so let's go to the console in the console if you try to see here let's open this console where is this console yeah create app is not defined so here whatever the create app we are trying to use it 
this create app is not defined so normally if you are trying to use this create app like this means it will try to think that it is available in the window variable and actually it is not present in the window variable it is present in the vue.js instance so you will be able to have you have this uh, cdn view install so you will be able to have this one so this is the object so this one is a big object in this object you will be able to see that somewhere you will be having a create app so somewhere yeah here you will be able to see a create app so that means this one is present in the window dot view so here i can use something like view dot create app so this is made available by the this script code which have we have injected it so that is the reason so now we have we have made it available let's see whether we are able to see this. see now suddenly we are able to see the output the message the interpolation the variable has been converted into the hello world so this is coming from here so if i try to use three exclamatory marks automatically you will be able to see the three exclamatory marks here so this is how we will be using so now before proceed before uh, closing of this one so now the desert the what are the difference between those two is so in our build tool we can use the sfc concept so we have discussed about this sfc concept that is nothing but single file component so what is meant by single file component so which contains html javascript and also the style in a single file so which is represented with a dot view extension but here we can so if you are trying to use the vue.js using like this so we cannot use this single file component sfc concept so how can we create a component so then how we can create a component is for example let's create my component so if you don't know about this one don't panic we'll try to discuss about these all things so if you want to create a component we need to use export default okay so data and here i am having component name so i can use it like this and i can write here my component so this is how we will be having this is a component declaration and in the app.js we need to include this one import import my component from oh sorry so you will be having my component.js so here you will be having my component fine so now we need to include this one here components or otherwise we can also use view.component so there is a there will be a method available view maybe this one will come view.component so somewhere you will be able to see view.component mm. don't know where it is available where it will be available so we can make use of this one view.component so rather okay okay fine let's leave it so we want to use this one so here i am using the components so here i can use directly my component so now we have used it so let's try to keep a comma my component.js yeah and in the index.html we are able to see it so find my component.js and now here we need to show this component some details right so here we need to have a template so this template thing how we can write it is so div this is the component with the name so I can use string interpolation component name. So I can use it like this. So we need to use it like this. So here this is the component with the name. Yeah. So now if I if I try to refresh this page, so still we are able to see. Okay, so we are using the import thing. So we cannot use the import outside a module. Now what I need to do is so here I need to add type is equal to module. I need to tell that it is a module type now if i try to see here we are able to get it but in the my component.js we are able to get a semicolon issue okay i have given a semicolon issue of a comma so let's go now let's try to see now we are able to see the output but the component we are not able to see it so why we are not able to see that component is because we need to tell somehow the component so now here i can have something like h2 Oh, sorry h2 and this one h2 and here so we need to inject the component and here i can have my component so this is the component name and let's try to use it so if i try to refresh this space now i am able to get this component thing you this is the component with name something like this so element is missing in tag so this is having some in tag issue why because i don't have a div tag yeah i have used it right if it's now it will go away i think this is a component with the name component name okay in this one i didn't close it seems so here yeah i opened a div 
I did close it. Okay, so this is a nice nice message that it is trying to give. Fine. So we are able to see it. So this is how we can create the components using the CDN and we can make use of this one. But the measure, but the problem is we cannot use the SFC concepts and all those things. So rather than that, we can use like this also, not a problem. Hope you understood about this one CDN thing. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.